For our next series of videos, we are going to be talking about the CMS software for all of the rugged CCTV DVRs that are current. Um, uh, I was just actually informed that a lot of customers don't even know that we make CMS software. Uh, most people are accessing them through Internet Explorer, which does not give you full backup. Access um, is a heck of a lot slower, and you do not have multi-DVR functionality. So um, once you have downloaded and installed the software, which you can always find on our downloads page, which which is um, found at rugged-cctv.com. So once it's installed, you double -click, click on it. It's gonna ask you for a password. The default password is gonna be the number one seven times. You can absolutely change this in the software once you get it loaded and installed. And I have lots of DVRs on mine, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. Now here is the CMS software. And you're going to have tabs at the top of the screen right up here. You're going to have live and then you are going to have search. This is how you can actually search through the backups of your system. And then you have local playback. So if you've made backups, you can watch them through this and you can watch more than one camera at a time, which is really, really helpful, especially if you have a break in or vandalism, something that you're looking for. Down here, you have a little button that looks like an address book. So if you hover over, it's gonna say address book. If you click on it, it is going to come up and this is all of the DVRs that I have loaded on my system. I've got lots and lots and lots. Um, so you won't have that many, but you click add and you give the DVR a name and description you can honestly leave blank. You're never gonna see that um, on the screen that's behind there um, is really the only place so when you're actually accessing it it doesn't make a huge bit of difference the group is the site name you can leave it as site connect address if you're on site is going to be the local IP like a 192.168 kind of number or a 10.10 kind of number port is defaulted as 2000 um, which you can find in your DVR on the quick reference guide if you need any help you call up and talk to tech support they can walk you through it too camera count you will choose whichever one is accurate for your DVR and then username and password username that you're going to use at least for default purposes is user one so us here we go let me type it in there for you us -E -R, and the number one so no spaces no uppercase or will not work and then password again is the number one seven times and then retype the password where it says confirm it will add your DVR in here and you need to make sure it has a little checkbox over here and that way it will actually load the next time that you load the software so you close this and our full demo once if you look over here you have lots of different um, colors on the icons anything that's white means that it is a good connection good IP address good connect information username password all of that is correct and so it gives you the ability that you drag it over to any of these black screens doesn't matter and you let it go it is going to populate for the system that you have access to and this is live so you're seeing live cameras and so that's me hello 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 since you can't see the front of me and you have a lot of features but this at least gives you an idea as to how you access it and then if you ever change tabs yes it does go blank so you redrag your DVR icon and this is playback so it gives you the ability to get into search you choose your hour you hit playback you choose your minute you hit playback again and then you're automatically in playback it's very, very quick on the network. It's a little bit slower remotely, so it kind of depends on your upload speed at the, the uh, location that you are uh, have the DVR located in, and then it's download speed at the remote connection side. It just depends on which speed is the slowest is going to be your limiting factor. What's also really nice about the CMS software is this is made for multi-DVR, uh, so you've got one here, you've got another one, and another one and you can keep going until you get to 64 64 is our current limit and you can also double click on an icon these are the cameras that you have uh, available for a certain section and you can drag them and put them in whatever location you want it's very very user friendly um, so this is just a tiny 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 little bit of information on the CMS software and We'll be doing quite a few of these to kind of walk you through how you need to use the system, what's going to be the easiest for you. And if you have any questions, just give us a call, 866-301-2288. Hope this helps. Bye.